What's up? This is Jake with Hike734, and today I'm going to talk about the new 100% online advanced reservation system for Glacier National Park. If you've done if you've done any advanced reservations before with Glacier, you're familiar with the lottery system and mailing and faxing and all that. And this year, totally different. Um, if you're watching this on like Facebook or YouTube or something like that, make sure you um, in the notes click on the link to this blog because I'll have links to all the stuff I'm going to talk about. Um, but the big takeaways, if you just want to spend like two seconds watching this and don't want to watch me go through it, is um, you want to obviously plan your trip out and make sure you're paying attention to all the different restrictions that happen. The second thing is, is you're going to want to go to the backcountry site and click on the application link to the advanced reservation system, which is going to take you to the park's pay.gov site where you'll need an account and you'll log in. And if it's before March 15th, you can go ahead and um, preload your advanced reservation itinerary. If it's after the 15th, you can go ahead and um, apply for it. So um, this is where I'm going to go ahead and walk you through it. But it's March 15th. I talked to them and said, what actual time? Is it midnight? Is it whatever? And they said it's 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Not Mountain Standard Time. 8 a.m. Mountain Time, because it's after daylight savings starts. So it's 8 a.m. Mountain Time on March 15th is when it's a first come, first serve you'll go ahead and take your preloaded itinerary and you'll go ahead and submit it to the park. So um, same $10 application fee, $30 if you get it. And then when you get to the park, you're going to go ahead and pick up your permit based upon your reservation. And the reason why they do that is just, just in case some trails are closed or there's some hazards you need to be aware of. You'll need to watch the little safety video and all that stuff. So just because you have a reservation, you still need to go in and get your actual permit. So. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the process, and I'll try and be as brief as I possibly can be, but it may be a little bit complicated. So the first thing is, is head on out to the internet, and um, obviously if you go to my website, or you start at my website, I'll have links for the backcountry website, um, the, the, the application form, and some of these other resources. So definitely check that out. Um, but you're going to really want to um, hang out at the National Park Service's official site for Glacier, and that's nps.gov forward slash GLAC for Glacier. That's their four-digit code. And then once you're here, you're going to want to click on Plan Your Visit, and then Things to Do, and then backcountry camping. So those are the first things that you're, that's the first place you're gonna need to go. Um, ultimately, we're gonna be clicking on advanced reservations. Um, and they have it a little bit backwards than I would have laid out this page. I would have started off with trip planning. That to me is, is where you really need to start out. And down over here in trip planning, the most important one is this right here. It's the backcountry campground, trailhead, and area information. And on this page, it's got um, the distances between the campsites and the, the codes within those. Um, the, one of the things that's really important is, is that your, your daily travel cannot be more than 15 miles. Um, so if you submit a, a, a campground, or if you submit a itinerary and it's got one that's 17 miles, it's just gonna be denied right away and you just wasted $10. So make sure that um, every one of your segments is 15 miles or less. Um, the next part that's really important is over here um, on the left-hand side, it is the backcountry back campground list. Um, it shows the code, which you're going to need the codes of all of your campsites. Um, obviously, here's the description. On the info, the first number is the amount of campsites that are available. Um, and then the next one is usually about half of that, and that is the ones that are available for advanced reservations. Everything else is going to be for walk-in um, availability later on. And then this next one is really important, and it's, it's when the first date that you can reserve it. Now all of them can't be reserved in, in advance before the 15th of June um, and then after September 30th. So the advanced reservation system is only for June 15th reservations through the end of September. So um, most of these obviously you can see at the very beginning are that way, but you, then you have this one right here which is Boulder Pass. High elevation, kind of shielded from the sun a little bit. This one gets, you know, snow hangs out there a lot longer. So don't submit an itinerary for before 8-1 for Boulder Pass because your itinerary is going to get denied. Once again, don't waste your time. Um, the next one is talking about stock, and I'm just most of you are probably not going to be doing dealing with stock, but if you are, you know, make sure you look into that. Um, and then there's this little diamond here is for whether or not you can have wood fires. 
Um, the next circle talks about, you know, is there a trip limit, like one night, two nights, that sort of thing. Um, especially if you're planning on setting a base camp and going to, to do a bunch of different things. And the last one is an asterisk. And asterisks, asterisks are super, super important um, because you don't want to um, start at Reynolds Creek, you know, take the shuttle and start on Reynolds Creek um, and, because you just can't because there's a restriction on that. So you don't want to submit an itinerary that has that one starting out. The other thing is if you have to walk or take a shuttle on the road, not crossing the road, but walking down it, say for going from Logan Pass to another trailhead, that is considered a new trip. So if you are planning on coming out at Logan Pass, walking the road or hitchhiking or taking the shuttle and then continuing on and staying at Reynolds Creek, that's considered a new trip. And so your application is going to get denied. So make sure you're paying attention to um, these sorts of asterisks because they will kill you um, and your reservation. So um, the next thing um, here that's important is the trailhead codes. And you'll see a little bit later when we're actually filling it out, you're going to need to know what that three digit code or what the name of it is. So, you know, hey, I'm going to go ahead and start over here um, and hike in. So I need to, I'm going in at QCE. So, so make sure you understand what all those, those sorts of codes. So anyways, spend a lot of time on this map. It's super important. <laughs> I cannot stress enough how much you need to do that. So anyway, so we'll go ahead and click back. You've you know done all your research. You've looked at my blogs. You've looked on here. You've got it dialed in exactly what you want. And so now we want to go to the Backcountry Advanced Reservations page. And remember, this is a reservation only, not your actual permit. Um, so what's going to happen is this, this just talks about a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about in this video. Read it all. Please read it all. Um, and one of the big things is the reservations um, can only be up to seven days before your trip. If you, you know, if you're flying in on Monday and you're going to want to go ahead and start hiking on on Tuesday and it's Saturday before, it's too close. It's and don't don't apply to make an advanced reservation application. You're just going to do the walk-in permit system, which watch my blog on that. So anyway, so this talks about the fees, um, refunds, which there aren't any. Um, that talks about there's standard application for standard groups like you know um, one to eight campers and then if it's more than that like say a boy scout troop they actually are having some applications be, um, beforehand so you want to go ahead and apply that way um, otherwise the important things to pay attention to are advanced reservation availability which if it's before march 15th they haven't accepted any applications so everything's available <laughs> so so um but after that it becomes really important um the trail and area closures last year reynolds creek fire closed a bunch of campgrounds check all that stuff out um and then they've got a tutorial here so we're i'm going to assume that most of you are going to be eight or less campers when and then you'll click on this application and it's going to head on over to the pay.gov site so once you're over here, um, if you've not created a pay.gov account, make sure you click on the little register over here. Um, I already have, it, it's standard registration for online stuff. If you already have, like I have, just go ahead and click log in, type in your username and password and click log in. That's gonna redirect you back to this specific form. If you go to the pay.gov site first, then you're gonna have to search for this form. So just go to it from Glacier's page. So we're gonna go ahead and click continue to the form. And once we're over here, don't worry about this top stuff, that's for, that's for them. Um, the trip leader will do Jake Bramante, one-on-one, -on -one, backcountry drive in Kalispell, Montana. Um, put in my phone. And number of campers, it's going to be me and my wife, and we aren't bringing any horses. Um, so then if you've already, if, is this application an amendment to an already existing advanced reservation? Um, if you are modifying one you've already been awarded, so this would obviously be after March 15th, you realize you need to change a date or you need to change one of your campsites or something like that, you'll click yes. Um, that enables it to free up those sites for other people and, um, Make sure you only have one and all that stuff. So anyways, but I'm going to go ahead and click no because I don't have one. Um, if you did, you'd put in your reservation code over here. Um, this is, I understand that I'm going to be charged $40 if I get it, $10 only if um, I didn't. 
And then I also understand that um, Glacier's crazy and stuff can happen. And in the, the event that something does happen, um, such as trail closures due to fire or whatever, then I'm not gonna get my campsites that I want. So anyways, this has a bunch of links that we've already talked about, um, you know, trail it, um, trailhead information, codes, all that kind of stuff that you should have been working on. So um, you can click save here and it's gonna take you back to, um, it says, hey, your form's partially completed. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and click next. And when you do, at least now, I don't know if it's always gonna be this way, it's gonna make it seem like, hey, there you have unsaved changes. You actually don't, they actually do save. If you feel more comfortable clicking save than going back to the form, then clicking leave page, you can. Um, you'll be able to review it later on. So anyways, we did that. I'm gonna do number of nights, trailhead entry. We'll come in at Chief Mountain. And my, I'm gonna come out at Goat Haunt. Gonna do a little loop in the north section. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and come in on 8-21-2016. And so it automatically populated my other nights. Um, I'm gonna stay at Cosley the first night, and then I'm gonna stay at Kootenai Lakes the second night. And remember that when you do this, this is all gonna get reviewed by a human being. So, um, you know, so, so when, as, as you wor work your way further down the form, that's the nice thing is you actually can communicate to them a little bit. Um, anyways, if I had more itinerary choices, I could go ahead and, and add them here. Once again, I get the error message. Um, and then I get to, you can do up to four different choices. Um, and I would recommend if you do like your first one um, and then you're okay with doing some variations, don't do your second trip that's just every single variation or just backwards because you can address that later on. This would be mainly like, hey, I'm, you know, I might want to do one in the belly, I might want to do the northern circle, or I might want to do something along the eastern front or something. So anyways, here's third choice, here's fourth choice, fill it out if you need to. Um, and now we start to get to the other options. I will accept a different start and end date to my requested itineraries. You're here for 12 days, you only want to do four days in the backcountry, the rest day hiking and you're flexible, this is where you put that. So I'm gonna say no, and then I do next. There are a couple issues with this form that I think they're working through. So if you kind of start getting some errors and stuff, just know it is a little bit buggy and they're working on fixing it. So anyways, here's the, where you can kind of tweak things. For example, um, if you're like, oh, I'm, I just wanna do this route. I don't care what campsite I get. You check the first one. Say if you wanted to reverse the route using the same campgrounds as listed or reversing a route using different campgrounds, Maybe you want to check this, but then down here in the comments, just say, keep the same campgrounds, but I'm fine with um, reversing it. So that's just what, you know, you can communicate this. They're going to read this. Um, and then there's obviously certain ones. This is just the, like, the, I just want a campsite in Glacier National Park or give me a trip. Um, you guys choose, and that's this last resort. I just want something. Obviously, they'll do that. So if this was after March 15th, and you knew everything was great, you clicked your PDF preview, and it showed you, hey, everything's in here. Great, that's awesome. Everything's exactly how I want it. You can go ahead and close that, and you can click continue, and it would submit it. This is before March 15th, so it says, hey, you cannot submit this before March 15th. So you just go ahead and click save, and it'll go ahead and save my preloaded reservation right over here. On March 15th at 8 a.m. Mountain Time, that's when I need to be here clicking Submit so I can go ahead and get this. Um, obviously, the, there's a lot of popular, you know, there's a lot of popular campsites and, and all that stuff. So it is competitive. So you probably want to be on this. Um, it is first come, first serve. It's online only. Let me see if I'm missing anything else. Um, Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So anyways, I'm Jake with Hike734. Thanks for watching this incredibly long video about advanced reservations um, in Glacier National Park. If you like this video, subscribe on YouTube and head over to hike734.com for more goodness.